going on guys today we're going to talk about liability practices if your dog bites somebody will you be held responsible and we're going to talk about that real soon what we're going to focus in on if it's a protection dog okay we're not talking about a random dog we're talking about a dog that you got trained in protection and if it bites somebody will you be responsible and that's the question that we want to ask you today all right so we're gonna get into this soon. I'm gonna have to put the camera down so that I can uh, quote some facts about protection dogs and cases that have gone on about staying your ground law. And we're only talking about in the state of Georgia. We're not talking about any, anywhere else. I don't, I, I, I'm not gonna get confused and every state has their own laws. We're gonna talk about Georgia and then we're gonna talk about some Supreme Court rulings to see if that applies too. How would that help you out if you got your dog trained in protection and someone tries to break in your house and the dog protects you, will you be sued? Will you be criminally charged? What are the effects for that? So you guys stay tuned and we're gonna get right into this. All right, so now that we get to it, let's get to the Georgia doctrine of staying your ground. It includes your personal dog if they're not trained in protection, but we're talking about protection dogs today. So in the state of Georgia, there's a legal, legal doctrine called castle doctrine or staying your ground law that may protect you from liability if your dog bites an intruder who is on who has unlawfully entered your home. The castle doctrine allows individuals to use reasonable force, including the use of a guard dog to defend themselves, their family, their property, and intruder. So to answer that question, yes, you may use your guard dog to protect your family as long as it's done in a professional way. The person had to be actively breaking into your home. You had to feel like your life was in danger, and then you could send the dog on them. If you did that beforehand, then uh, and you didn't feel like you were in threat and you sent the dog, you could be liable. Just remember that. Always seek a lawyer when you're asking about this question. So if someone breaks into your home and your dog bites them in defense of you and your property, you may not be held liable for any injuries the intruder sustains. However, it's important to note that the specific circumstances of the incident will be taken into account and the use of force may deem reasonable and necessary to prevent harm. It's also worth mentioning that having a clear beware of dog sign posted on your property can further protect you from liability in the event your dog bites an intruder. So, if your dog is defending your property and you and someone breaks into your home, come here King, then you can use your dog in defense. Yes, the big boy is a big boy. You can use your dog to defend you and your property. He is your big boy. He's a big. This is my big king. That's my big king. Let me scoop back to them so they can see big king. Come here, king. So king is a personal protection dog, right? He's a big East working line German Shepherd. King, come here. Yo, you're the big boy. Oh, the big boy. You're the big boy. you big, big, big dog. A big dog. Dad had things and he was a puppy. And King is King down, down, down. King is um, going on 11 years old, so he is retired. Anyway, back to the subject. So, yes. So, I'm gonna give you an example. If you're in your home, someone breaks into your home, and you're asleep, and your dog is trained in protection work, and your dog break the bad guy sustains injuries from your dog and the bad guy had the intent to do harm to you and you reasonably believe that your life was in danger, you would not be held liable. But this is gonna pin out an investigation by law enforcement, right? If the bad guy is leaving your house or leaving, running away from you and you send the dog, you will be held liable for that, okay? 
okay because you are no longer in danger and you sent the dog anyway because the dog is is used is the dog is referred to as the use of deadly force same thing if you had a gun or a knife uh the dog is used in that way especially if the dog has been trained professionally to do bite work so this can get you in trouble if you send the dog to bite somebody even after you are no longer in danger all right so we're gonna quote some some uh facts all right so here's a question if i give my dog the command bite someone can i be criminally charged giving your dog a command to bite someone could potentially result in criminal charges depending on the, the specific circumstances and their interpretation of Georgia law. Under Georgia law, it is generally illegal to intentionally cause harm on another person, even if that harm is inflicted by a dog. If you give a command to your dog to bite someone and the person is seriously injured, you could be charged with a crime like aggravated assault and battery. However, the, the castle doctrine or stand your ground law may provide a defense if you gave the command in self-defense or in defense of your property, in this case, you would need to demonstrate that you, re you reasonably believe that you use force. The force was necessary to protect yourself, your property from Im imminent harm. Ultimately, whether you could be criminally charged for giving your dog a command to bite someone would depend on the specific facts of the situation and the interpretation of the law by prosecutors and courts. So, if if you gave your dog a command to go bite somebody and uh, you would have to you would have to interpret it that you were doing it in self-defense you would have to interpret it that you were doing it in self-defense you would have to demonstrate to the law enforcement officials or anybody else that you felt like your life was in danger so you had to uh, send your dog to attack this person I don't see the scenario on that unless uh, somebody was trying to jump in your car or something and your dog was back there. That's the only place I could kind of see that. So, um, yeah, if you send your dog to bite somebody, you have to be able to uh, explain why you did it and why you felt like you were in fear of your life. If you just sent your dog to bite someone because you were upset that they were breaking in your car and you were in harm, you could be liable, right? You can't send your dog to go bite somebody because they're breaking in your car. You just can't do that, unfortunately, by Georgia law. So you have to be in danger. You can't put yourself in danger. You have to already be in danger. So they have to already be in the process of harming you. You can't go out of the house and put yourself in danger and then claim the castle doctrine or stay your ground. Are dogs trained to attack considered deadly weapons in Georgia? Yes, dogs that are trained to attack can be considered deadly weapons in Georgia and many other states. This classification stems from the fact that a dog, especially when trained to attack, has the potential to inflict serious bodily harm or even death. So, protection dogs should be safeguarded just as you would do with your gun and you would put it in the safe. You wanna make sure that your protection dogs um, are have the proper muzzle training. You may have to put a muzzle on them if you take them to a boarding facility or to the vet. You wanna make sure that your protection dog is not a pull or unleash that you can walk around people without the dog being reactive you want to make sure that the protection dog is not aggressive just by the side of people so the answer to your question to that question is yes you should get your protection dog insured but you also need to manage how your protection dog is going to be out in public right and not every protection dog needs to be in public now proceeding forward with this this was talking about georgia law and this was, those were facts in Georgia law. There are a couple uh, case uh, Supreme Court studies that talk about dogs attacking people. We'll get into that in the next one. Um, are you protected if someone breaks in your house? And in Georgia, I'm gonna say yes. If someone breaks in your house and you feel like your life is in danger, you are protected under Georgia law to stand your ground. Now, if you don't feel like you're in danger and you see your dog to attack them, you could be criminally uh, and civilly liable for the attack. So if someone breaks in your house and they run away and they're out the door and you're no longer in danger and you send your dog after them anyway, you're gonna go to jail. If someone breaks in your house and they have a knife and your dog comes out of nowhere and bites them and they drop the knife and you call the police, you're not gonna go to jail. 
Can they sue you? Yes. But will they win? Probably not. So that answers your questions. If your personal protection dog bites someone and defends of your life, will you be protected? So that's what we came to do today. I hope I answered your question. If you have any other answer, uh, questions about this topic, leave them in a comment. I'll research it and I'll get back to you with facts. And I hope you guys have a good one. I'm Rodriguez Carter and that was King, my German Shepherd. You guys be good.